Space Gang, welcome to another episode of the BK Space Show. I am your host, the BK Space, and before we get started, I need you to do me a favor. Head over to www.thebkspaceshow for all your BK Space news, all our shows, videos, and audio giveaways, and blogs. So on today's show, it's another reconvening of the Crossover Crew. What's going on, fellas? How y'all been? What's happening? What's happening? Good, good, good. good. Damn right. Listen, for those of you who are uninitiated, because I know I'm new to this whole video thing, uh, the Crossover Crew is just me and three of the homies. We all got different things going on. We decided to come together and do one big show. Uh, We do this like, what, like every two months. All of us come together. Um, every election Ace over <laughs> here <laughs> every election Ace over here Ace got the Ace McFly show what's going on Ace cool and what's up man what's up chilling chilling glad you came through JB he has the JB Smith show oh we JB versus the podcast JB versus <laughs> JB <laughs> I'm tripping JB versus everything what is what is the show? A, put some respect on my name. I'm JB sorry. versus the world. <laughs> JB versus the podcast. <laughs> JB versus the world.com. JB v the world on Twitter because versus is just too long. I knew I had to make him go through that whole thing because he does it. He got this thing totally rehearsed, guys. Yeah, I need you to know about now. How about that? I need you to know about now. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad, bro. And, and yeah, we got Big Bro Demo Demon Love. What's happening? How's everybody um, doing? From the hump. And the hump. pretty right. soon, um, Dating Over 40 is coming. I'm looking forward to that show as well. As well as new episodes from the other two knuckleheads I introduced already. Mm-hmm. So, today's show is Christmas with the crew. And if you are spending Christmas with us, first and foremost, I want to say Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming through. I uh, hope you had the best morning. You opened up all the gifts in the world that you wanted. Um, Your kids are happy. Your spouse is happy. Your mistresses or mistresses. Is that what a male mistress is called? I don't know. Um, I hope that dude was happy too. Side chicks. Your side pieces. Your mistresses. Your sneaky links. Your sneaky links. Oh, all that i hope everybody's extremely happy if santa claus dropped by and you know i hope he ate your cookies okay oh uh, i hope he yeah. ate the cookies that you yeah. laid yeah. out yeah. with the milk yeah. Yeah. You drank the milk okay no so, yeah. that can be uh, that too can be taken just y'all was good this year just think y'all was good this year yeah all right so <laughs> I, I hope you guys are ready to get into this episode it's totally uh, random stuff. We're going to be talking about some movies, some of our favorite moments from Christmas, things we hate a little bit. You know, we're just going to get into the Christmas holiday because we're in the holiday spirit because reasons, that's why. So let's start off. I need you guys to tell me your top three personal favorite Christmas movies. Ace, we'll start with you. Oh, gladly. <clears throat> well, Number one. Number one, Gremlins. Gremlins on top. Okay. Number okay. one. Unorthodox pick there. Okay. And then two, I'd probably go with the Grinch, uh, the Jim Carrey one. Okay. And uh, it was tough, but I'd say a Christmas story. Oh, man. Christmas story third. I, I, that is one movie that I am tired of seeing, but it's, it's <laughs> I mean, if they didn't do the marathon every year, like, <laughs> All day the same movie, like I watch it. I watch it like three times. I, I'm I'm saying I'm ashamed. I'm Shout ashamed. out to my homeboy, uh, Coach CJ, boxing coach. Man, that dude, that is his absolute favorite movies, a uh, movie. And also, if you haven't uh, listened to that episode a few months back with CJ, Coach Burton Jr., you you guys need to go listen to that. Anyway, JB. Top three personal yeah. favorite Christmas movies. My top three personal favorite Christmas movies. All right, so number one, um, The Christmas, mm-hmm. which is the only Black Christmas movie that matters, I think. <laughs> oh, that was a good pick. 
I said what I said. Anyway, um, <laughs> a Christmas story. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a marathon every year. And keeping in line with the marathon every year, especially going back to my childhood, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Oh, my gosh. Of course hey, he was going to throw in a Star Wars. The trilogy played on USA Network, New Year's, Christmas through New Year's, every every day when I was younger. So that was cool. that's to me. Yeah, I do remember watching Star Wars a whole lot uh, during the Christmas season. Now that you mentioned it, uh, Big Bro, let me get yours. <coughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> number one would probably be Bad Santa. I love Bad Santa. Yeah, that's a good pick. Uh, um, and then, like I said, two, I'm gonna go off the rail. So I'm gonna go um, Long Kiss Goodnight. And lethal weapon. Ooh, lethal weapon. That's a good one. I don't know. What was number two? Long kiss goodnight. I don't think I ever seen that. Really? I, I'm serious. I've never seen that. When did that come out? <laughs> was it 1942? What was that? <laughs> long, long kiss goodnight. That guy. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Baltimore. Y'all don't. <laughs> no, no John ja Rule, Charlie Baltimore. No, not that. The not rapper? That yeah, the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's who you talking about. He's like, was that a G Gina Davis, Sam Jackson? Nothing. Boy, you are showing your age right now. You know what? Oh. I've, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I have heard of the movie. Now that I think about it, I just never seen it. I guess that's something to add to the list. All right, so my go. Because mm. definitely. Cause Big Bro Demo look like he about to jump through the screen and slap all of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Highly disappointed in so, you. So, so number three, um, the Heat Miser. Um, well, I forgot the name of the movie, but you know the one with the Heat Miser and the um, Cold Miser. Is that what it's called? Mm. Hey, I can't remember the movie name. <laughs> like my mind just mm. went blank. It was the old school movie had like Mother Nature, and then like. You know, I'm Mr. Heat Miser. Y'all don't remember that? Nah. No. Yo, look. Is that about uh, Rudolph? Somebody, the Red Nose right there? Was it the Rudolph movie? It might have been the Rudolph movie. I think that's Rudolph. Yeah. Demo they, would know. <laughs> he made he it. He probably would. He definitely probably would. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, number two, I'm going to go with the Grinch, the old school one. Okay. The original Grinch. And number one, Nightmare Before Christmas, because oh, sleeper hit, yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. no, don't give me that look. It is a Christmas movie. That <laughs> is a Christmas movie. It was good. That okay, like it's that. more of a transition movie, but I watch it in December all the time. You know what? I'm surprised nobody uh, said. That's that? I'm I'm surprised nobody said Jingle All the Way. Oh, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, honorable mention, <clears throat> honorable Give mention me is definitely Jingle Jangle. Oh, uh, my, okay. what about what about Home Alone as an honorable mention? Oh, you yeah, know what? that's a good one. Okay, that's a good one. So the Heat Miser uh, movie is the one with uh, it's called The Year Without Santa Claus. Oh, uh, that's an old stop, old school <clears throat> stop motion. I really like stop motion stuff, by the way. Like. Okay. Oh yeah, I really did pull it out when not the hat. <laughs> okay, so Big Bro Demo, question Yo. two: uh, What is the best Christmas monster, or who is the best Christmas monster? The best Christmas monster. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go. I mean, is it the Christmas monster? Is I mean, is it the I would have to go with the Grinch? The Grinch is not a monster, you fool. He is a I who? Mean, I mean, he's a who, <laughs> but he's a deformed. I can okay, that. yeah, you're right. We can't just call just because he's different doesn't make him a monster. Exactly, mm. and the, and, and to be real, let's be real about something. He ain't even hate Christmas for real. He just hated people. Yeah, hate people. That's true, man. He really <laughs> did hate people. And he was like, I hate y'all so much that I'm gonna take y'all favorite holiday and just ruin it. That that is the is the Grinch like the <clears throat> greatest hater of all time? Nah, nah, nah. Oh no. Nah. 
Nah. Who the Grinch? Who the haters? I can think Grinch of. hated everything. I love the Grinch, and I think the greatest great. hater probably the 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 villain on uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I can't remember. Oh, uh, uh, shoot, Fro- Frollo. Well, yes, that's Frollo. my guy Frollo right there. Frollo was just horny. He didn't know what to do with it. True, true. I, I love that cat though. That's my that's my guy right there. The Hellfire song was dope. He was he was like Hell Fire. He's scary. Hell yes, Fire. Let's let's hear oh, these other answers. Kiddos. I want to hear. Uh oh. Can't have, you can't in have trouble? A what you do? With our kids. No, no, they were <laughs> being loud. <laughs> it's cool, kiddos. All right, so JB, your monster man. Yo, best Christmas monster. I- I'm gonna go a little bit unorthodox here. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go Robo Santa from Futurama. Oh, Robo Santa uh, Santa was pretty pretty crazy for the most part. That dude was pretty nuts though. He was messed up. He was kind of cool though. I liked his design. He was kind of cool, but just the fact that his standards of what was good and bad had got so high that everybody was just bad except for Zoidberg. Yeah, <laughs> which is look, that was the what the only time Zoe Bird got an actual bone thrown to him in Future Roma. Basically, I so- mean, he kind of did miss the curve with the whole mating thing, but that would have resulted in his death. But he wanted to go out, so I mean, when that's kind of 50 50. But yeah. anyway, the point is, Robo Santa used to bomb the whole world at once a year, and nobody <laughs> wanted to smoke with him. Y'all all know where he lives. Why didn't you stop something? Right? Go get Iron Man. Don't do something, bro. Yo, that, they did a right. whole time jump episode. They could have just went back in time and killed him. Like it could, they could have done anything. They could have done anything. Ace. Yes, sir. All right, best Christmas monster. All right, and it was they. I, you know, I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I mean, it's it's not just one monster. It's a collection of them. The collection of them, and if, you, and if you and if you put them in a pool or you get them wet, they just, <laughs> oh, they, they just they will ruin a city, a small city, they'll ruin it, like completely, like gremlins, man. It, it don't get no worse. <laughs> <laughs> we really should have seen this coming, though. Like, so, so gremlins is this episode's camera. It, yeah. And, and yeah. Jason. It's, and it's, Jason. And Jason. Oh, you know, I was just thinking about Jason a second ago, how great of a Santa Claus Jason was. Uh, you know it. I mean, he was just he a gift that him. kept on giving, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was death, but at least he kept giving it. All right. <laughs> but it's definitely, yeah, I, I couldn't get past it, man. Grimace. All right. So <clears throat> I want to say Heat Miser is mine. But I think I'm gonna go with Oogie Boogie because Oogie hey, Boogie. because it's a Christmas movie and he was terrorizing Christmas. So and like he had a really good song too. So you know if you could terrorize Christmas, kidnap Santa Claus, and and you kill him with the jazz on the other hand, got my vote there. <laughs> got my vote. Triple threat. That's right. Honorable mention. Honorable mention to the son that killed Frosty the Snowman. That was some perfect timing with the kid that time. Just about okay. <laughs> that was definitely D three. Okay, right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so worst Christmas movie, the worst Christmas movie you've ever seen, JB. Ah, I knew this day would come. Um, it so, had to. Uh, the absolute worst. Christmas movies, man. Say, you ah, say, can I, can I have a tie? say again. Can I have a tie? Yeah, go ahead. One of them is just really bad, and one of them is so bad that I actually enjoy it. The one that I think is just really bad is the uh, the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Oh like, yeah. The, they had a sequel, <laughs> and it was just like the worst piece of crap ever. I hated that movie. I hated. <laughs> and the one. And the one that was so bad that I actually enjoyed is Jingle All the Way. <laughs> <laughs> Another Christmas movie I forgot actually existed. So I mean I think I only seen Jingle All the Way one time. 
Get yeah. the doll. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> Tim Bath fighting over a, a a a doll, and then you got baby Anakin Skywalker in the movie, and he can't <laughs> act worth a damn. It was crazy. <laughs> can't. Is Arnold overrated as far as acting goes? Not his movie itself, just him. No, he's actually a Ooh. life hero. I'm talking he's, acting he's skills only. I'm, I'm only basing this on acting skills. Is he overrated? I, I wouldn't no. say so. I, I don't know anybody no. that puts him that high of an actor. Like, he's just Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, that. <laughs> and that's that's like, I don't either. The Conan one. <laughs> You know, look, I ain't never heard nobody say, man, listen, uh, when Arnold and De- versus Denzel, man, Arnold got like all these movies and then Denzel is just, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard that either. Now, at least, if y'all want to be messy, y'all can say he acted like he was faithful to that Kennedy. Yeah. Oops. Uh-oh. Because somebody. <laughs> I mean, I think, I don't think he acted like, I think that's, that's their, that's their thing. Like, who's that? Maria Shriver. Yeah. But I, I, but Arnold, he plays the same character as, as himself, as opposed to Denzel. He plays different characters, but has the same mannerisms. So I don't yeah. get that. Like, you're, you're <laughs> first Denzel. of all, no, ain't no Denzel slander, bro. Ain't no Denzel slander. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely not jumping in on. I'm just saying, you. if you, I'm just saying, you, you, you're a method actor. You said you're, a, you're a traditional actor, but you have the same mannerisms for every character. Like I, I like the actors who, like you know, what I'm saying, can mix in a stutter or, or, or a limp with their character. Like they yeah. take on different characters. Him and Will, Man Will. on Fire, and him and Remember the Titans. Coach Boom was not the same. Okay, so he had like two times where he went out and switched it up a little they, bit. No, they, he still points the same. He still uses the same words when he's mad. Like, it's the same character. You know what, though? <laughs> why Why don't we say that about Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, say, hey, hey uh, watch your line. You stepping now. That's my guy. I love Sam. That's I love Sam. Windu, you better out. You know I love Sam. I mean, Mace Windu was different enough not to be in the category, though. Mace Windu, saying, Mace Windu, and Nick Fury—they two different people. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying the word the word repugnant has been used like three times in film, and they've all been Sam Jackson. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the word, what was his this, name? Or this some re, this some repugnant shit. Like, okay, like, <laughs> like okay, okay, Sam. He don't even he don't even change his cadence up, but we're we're we're, we're getting off into something else. It's the we, same, we like, you're using the same voice, man. Like, come on, right. assist, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this show will never not have a Star Wars reference. I don't think we can do it. I don't think we can go a whole episode without bringing up Star Wars in any form. Yeah. Why would yeah. we? I mean, Star I agree. Why would better? we? But I just I'm just pointing out the fact that we can't do it. Maybe we need to do a challenge to see if we can actually pull that off. You got to name the episode, the episode we don't mention Star Wars. Or <laughs> we already lost. <laughs> so, who, who are we on with the worst Christmas? Demo. Worst Christmas movie. Uh, Worst Christmas movie. Um, Like I said, it might be a tie. The remake of Black Christmas is horrible. Oh. And, uh, Cr- and, and Crumpus. Crumpus is horrible. Yo, I skipped Krampus, man. I, I Krampus saw it. It's terrible. It's terrible. I knew it was going to be bad. You got to know when to dodge bullets. Yeah, you, you have to. And that <laughs> was definitely one of those moments. Krampus, Krampus made me want to fight my TV. Like, it literally made me want to just get up and just punch, just punch my TV for watching it. Like, <laughs> I wanted to summon Krampus so I could fight it. Like, that's how bad it was. <laughs> hey, Where's the um, movie? Uh, shout out to JB on this one. Uh, besides Dragon Ball Evolution. Um, oh, gosh. Black don't bring that up. Please don't bring that up. <laughs> What's Black, up Black, Black Christmas is... I'm with you there, Demo. Black Christmas was... The, I, that was number one on my list. It was absolutely... Really? Terrible. It was It was terrible. I was, it was, the abuse scene what, was Dragon even Ball worse. Dra- it, apparently, I think it's a card game. JB, I think it's a card. <laughs> oh, okay, like like a yeah. real card game, like made by like a card company, like like Yu Gi Oh. 
Yep. Or like something like somebody made in school and passed out to all their friends. This the second one. The second one. Okay. Okay. So that one passed out like you're Goku. You're and it's like, oh man, I'm Vegeta. That sucks. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even gonna get in on that. <laughs> No, we not gonna really? have this. There will be no Vegeta slander on this show. Did y'all notice how James switched his voice up with the characters? Like he's a better actor than Denzel Washington. Ooh. No, I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what's gonna happen. Ooh. Even you switch your you switch your cage Ooh. up. You switch your voice up. That's you know. Mm. Boy, hey, listen, look, we Denzel. Will not the post boom. Listen. Denzel was the first, the first celebrity with a hive. Let's just call it what it is. Them old women, the older generation of women. Mm. Listen, I remember one time, and this is not Denzel, but one time my mom was watching a Sydney, uh, Sydney Portier movie, and I was like, I don't like his acting. I don't think he's that good. And my mom was about to jump me. Like, <laughs> if y'all seen my mom, my whole demeanor like just switched up, and I was like, I'm sorry. He just not. He's just not for me. It was for me at that point in his career, he was older. He was supposed to have been a cop. I think he was in Russia or something. I was like, it's not believable. I wasn't feeling it. That's how mm. that's how older women mm. are for Denzel. Say something about Denzel in the right setting at church or something. It's a rap for you. You might die. It might be Say a again, rap. Wrong. In church? <laughs> hmm? In church? Listen. They talk about Denzel everywhere. Church, uh, the president's Listen, house. I'm not so- it don't matter. I'm not saying I don't enjoy him. I'm not trying to say I don't enjoy his movies. I'm just trying to say it's Alonzo doing everything. Like it's like training day. It's it's the same movie. Yeah. It's the same character. It's, those he are is things. not the same in training day as he is in Crimson Tide or the preacher's wife. He is the, he's Batman. exactly the same dude. Yeah, yeah it's no change. <laughs> he's exactly the same dude. Hold on, what I will was that? Find you and I will end you. Hold on, what was the name of that movie where he was blind? The Book of um, Eden. The Book of Eli. Oh, Book I think that may Eli. be that may be the only time I looked at Denzel. It didn't feel like that was exactly Denzel. The preacher's wife. You get All no thanks for the preacher's out. wife, man. I'm trying to figure no, no out. For the you know what? The only um, time. Um, what's the movie? The Civil War movie with Morgan Freeman. Oh, Glory. 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 Oh, when he played this, when he played, this, when he played ex slave, like that. I'm, I'm saying maybe, maybe that's the, look the tears. I maybe, can't. maybe the tears, um, come on. What's the name of that? Maybe Fallen. Fallen. He was a pretty. He, he wasn't Denzel. He was kind of a different character. Don Q. I nah, tell that's you, Denzel, what, bro. That's Denzel. I'm not gonna bury my son. My son is gonna bury me. <laughs> that's, that's Denzel. That's a lot. I have Alonzo to agree with me, I gotta agree with Alonzo me, bro. Alonzo might said that. <laughs> You, you seem a little. You seem I a little hurt. I will my foot off of your John Brown high part, <laughs> and then you will run a mile. <laughs> All right, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. All right, next question, y'all. So when I wrote these questions down in the group, y'all didn't tell me that I skipped the number four completely. Y'all weren't gonna tell me. Did y'all? Not I know combined. I combined four and five for you. Let's see now. I'm looking. I'm like, we, I got one, two, three, and five. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, listen, y'all I thought it might have been a mystery question. I thought it might have been a mystery <laughs> question. Listen, like, you won't be able to get that Florida counting. <laughs> y'all let me ride with that for like a whole week almost, bro. Like, really? <laughs> I was about to say it, and then somebody was going to go back and listen. You skip number four. It happens every time I skip a number. Look. This is this mm-hmm. is becoming a thing for me. I gotta get better. I, I gotta do like better. In the future, write the numbers first. <laughs> I should. <laughs> All right. So number four five. Um, what is one thing you love? Let's just do this. Number four. What is the one thing you love about Christmas, JB? All right. The one thing I love about Christmas. Uh, family togetherness. All I said the, one. I said one, not like five, bro. The bro, one. that's the same thing, bro. Listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to list off a whole the whole holiday. I said one thing. Listen. If you listen, if you like dressing, <laughs> just say dressing and move on. <laughs> <laughs> listen, bro. <laughs> I can't even get my I didn't get my life together. Bro, listen. 
<laughs> he's the only dude with his own podcast, but he keeps reclaiming his time. He makes sure he gets his time. He does. He does. <laughs> you damn right. And I ain't sorry for it. All right. Say your say your one, bro. Your one. Family togetherness. Because okay. it don't happen. Because we don't we don't talk any other time of the year. I, I can okay, that's a good one though. Be bro. <laughs> What's your one? Uh it's definitely it's definitely family. It's definitely family. Ace? Copycat? Um the food flex, man. Like you can Christmas is breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can go out to eat, go to the movies and get whatever. <laughs> like the food flex, man. Literally can I, you can, can have say? The second Thanksgiving. No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> can I change my yeah. answer? Oh, See, that's the most that's the most ace answer ever. It is. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. If you've been following so, this man on Facebook, you know food was kind of bro. Well, the food, the say, food like, his life is real. For real. Mm-hmm. I do when it comes to let food, he say, is other, living his life like a golden. Other than family, I like how um the generosity and kindness of people around the holidays. Like that's that's pretty dope. It do be on another level during the holidays for sure. Yeah, I like that. Uh, for me, the one thing that I love about Christmas is the fact that um, people put up lights, man. I, and then you see all those light shows online where people have like the singing lighthouses and stuff. I think that's some of the dopest stuff. The creativity be on max. I hate, I hate everything, not about Christmas itself, but just like the design of Christmas is so tacky but you know these people uh, over the past what like seven eight years really been being creative about how they put up their holiday lights and i've been enjoying watching just the light shows of random songs and movies and stuff being played out with a talking window pane it's been very interesting you know if y'all haven't seen shout out to ugly. go ahead yeah yeah shout out to the ugly sweaters too oh yeah man that's yeah, ugly sweaters are cool there. Ugly sweaters yeah. are dope. Yeah, All but right. the, the light the light show with the music, those are pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we got one in my neighborhood in my little small country town. Um that we pretty much crowd that street and you come through and you watch for about five minutes and you move on, then someone else comes through because we're generous like that around here sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, I think it's dope. I don't know if there's any more houses like that around, but I know that one in that one neighborhood around the corner down the street. It does it, and it'd be pretty cool. That rain did be blowing, boy. He be he be killing the game. All right. <laughs> number the actual number five. What is the one thing you hate about Christmas? Ace, you first. That's right. I switched uh, up. The the unnecessary uh competition, you know, like with uh gifts or something like, oh, I got socks. Oh, I got socks with cotton balls in them. Man. Nobody cares. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about your extra cotton balls. My socks yeah, warm too. JB. Oh, you. Oh, no, go ahead. My bad. Mean... No, you go ahead. Oh, JB. All right. Now, earlier I mentioned um, in my previous answer when I was interrupted like four or five times because I was accused of saying multiple things, but I'm not going to dwell on that. We're moving on, <laughs> moving forward, moving on, one and up. Now, to answer your question, to contrast the family togetherness that I said as what I liked, the family drama that comes with it, <laughs> the people who in the same space, and all this, the shady stuff, whether yes. it's gifts or prayer or or like I got this but I, we didn't get that, or the kids writing the cut, like fighting the kids, um, some disagreement. Sometimes it's video games. Sometimes I started it. Maybe I did it. Who knows? But it's that family drama. Don't like it. I'm gonna let you have that one because you was about to start rocking again. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> <laughs> wrap that shit up, B." <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> um, so the worst thing about Christmas, I think, probably probably Black Friday. Like that just brings out the the ugly in people, and I, I, it's just terrible and unnecessary greed, ugliness. Oh, <laughs> yeah, greed, ugliness, and then people going in the, into debt over Christmas is 
just boggles my boggles my mind. Yeah, the debt over over a day. I'm I'm gonna be a little bit more petty with my answer, and I absolutely one hundred percent hate looking at the ugly colors of Christmas. That green and red, and it's not even like a good looking green and red. It's like they picked the worst two uh, shades of green and red and put them together, and was like, "These, this is it, y'all. This is the colors that's gonna shut it down for the rest of your life, the rest of millen- the millennium." This red and green that is shaped like, I mean, colored of a tree and a berry is going to be the greatest colors of Christmas. And I think whoever, like, it's so many colors in the world. And that, was the, and that was the combination that they settled on. I, I, oh, man, I hate seeing it. I hate seeing it. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, hey, really, hey, like, when I see hey, it. Hey. Uh, Yo. Are you going to be the one to tell him he got green and white in the background? <laughs> I was, in the back. No, I was, I was waiting. First of all, <laughs> you do not talk about my co-host, Broby, okay? I'm telling Nova. Nova knows about, uh, for those that don't know, Nova is my new co-host. Like, she she was just official what is now, because you're listening to this on Christmas Day. Last week, uh, last Friday's episode, you should definitely go check that out. It was a great episode. We did a hot seat, and then we made an epic announcement. That was followed by um, the end of the show after that. So go check that out. But you don't disrespect bro, but he been in the family for like 12 years almost. And that's an extra year I added because my, my daughter's not even 12 yet. I'm just saying, like, he talked about green and red. He's like right there. Like, so, so, right. That's, so like the a, that's more like a burnt orange. You know? So Broby was there already. Like, what's that doll from that movie? Uh, the scary movie that's out. He no. was just there already, huh? Annabelle. No. Anna Broby. Listen, Anna bro. If Anna Broby bro. gets his Anna ass bro. up, <laughs> if Broby gets his ass up and start walking around this house, I am going to kill Broby. Broby, you got to go. I'm going to take a knife. You listen so to you me now, Broby. I'm taking a knife you and I am, I am you slicing you up. You down and be quiet, huh? That's right. He cool <laughs> right in that seat next to Pikachu. The, the rest of the audience, that's Pikachu. He's part of the audience, you know, hey. all the tickets. I already talked to her, but congratulations, Nova. That's big. That's big. I, I yeah, like that. I like it's a good look. So congratulations to her. Yeah, oh. man. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with her being on the show. I love you guys, and I would have loved any of you to also be my host, but I felt like Nova was going to bring something different that we don't bring because we all have mm-hmm. moments where we just kind of agree. <laughs> You know, and so I needed somebody that was gonna give me a perspective or something different, so I could argue with them. You know, like <laughs> deeply argue. We probably won't, but you know, if I if I say macaroni and cheese is bad, I need her to. You know, let me tell you why you're wrong. Big bro Demo would have done that for sure, but. Big Bro Demo also has like two shows he got to worry about. JB also has to worry about two shows. And Ace got like football aspirations going on over there because he just had big news as well that I don't know if we could talk about now. So I won't say anything. But he just left a football tournament, which how well did your team do, by the way? We did absolutely. We did all right. We, we didn't win it. We didn't win it, but they uh they learned a lot. Them kids, man, they a lot of them, you know, inner city, most of them inner city kids yeah. never been outside of Tampa. They got to go over to Kissimmee, Orlando, play ball, meet people, play teams from Colorado, Virginia, um, Chicago. They that's, had fun. They had fun. They did they experience. learned a lot. That's some crazy that's big right there, actually. I wish at that age I was getting out, going to places like that. I would enjoy that. Yeah, it was huge for him, man. Um, but uh, we got to continue this uh, Christmas uh, spiritual show that we got going on. So let's jump back in. Again, congratulations, Nova. Thanks for jumping on this crazy broadcasting thing with me. We're going to go far, I hope. And we all going far together as a group, too, because the crossover crew, we all going places. That's for sure. Number six. What is your favorite Christmas character? Big bro. Favorite Christmas character? Yep. It's gotta be 
John McClain, Die Hard. Oh man, you about to start a whole bunch of arguments with that one. <laughs> it's about to do it. Look at, look at J, JB was like, let me go ahead and. My favorite Christmas show. You be, you be Kanye, mother. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that game, man. They had like the Die Hard game on PlayStation. Oh, I, I played. All right, let me, let me, let me not lie. I played the hell out of that demo because my parents weren't about to buy me the whole game. It was Die Hard. I was like, what, six, seven, eight? Come on, you damn pack. Yeah, that wasn't finna buy me no violent game. <laughs> was that the demo that came in the uh, pack with the magazine? What was it the gaming magazine? And then no, you know, it was the, the one that pack. came with the um, Pizza Hut pizza. The, oh, the jam pack, the Pizza Hut with the game. Yeah. yeah. PlayStation was on some new stuff with that one. They need to go back to that. Games in yeah. general, bring back demo discs. Man, those used to be dope. I mean, demos used to be online now. Yeah, but it ain't the same. They don't even advertise. It's just like yeah. it's here if you want it. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Final <laughs> Fantasy advertised at one time. I was going to drop like fifteen. That, that is and true. Was, I do got it like shot for demos. Like they usually like I gotta go. Yeah. Like what it's, the heck? They ain't even advertising. It. Like put it in the pizza box. I buy the pizza or something. That was dope. Mm-hmm. I really did enjoy that. And plus, you can't damage. You know how hard it is to damage a Blu-ray now. It's, it's hard. It's really hard. Just and nothing's gonna happen to the Blu-ray. Anyway, I'm, I'm about to start renting. I'm actually in the PlayStation uh, hoodie, and I just realized. It. So uh, you know, PlayStation sponsored me. Um, I will play all your games live. <laughs> I'll play all of them. Yeah. You tell me, cyberpunk. me. Not Cyberpunk. <laughs> I'm glad. Not cy- Not right now. When I when y'all send me that five for you know when y'all sponsor me and send me that five, I play Cyberpunk then. But um, JB, favorite Christmas movie character. Okay, going back to one of my favorite Christmas movies earlier, and I'm glad Demo said what he said because he set the tone for what I'm about to say. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> I was about to throw this towel at the camera and I don't want to knock it down, you know, because I don't want to damage it. it. took way too long for me to get the damn thing this year. So <laughs> I'm going to let you ride with Luke Ace. Watch him come um, in here and say Yoda. You no, know, was it? I wasn't. I was. That was actually. He was actually uh like number three on the list. But it is another green guy, just the goat, the Grinch. Yeah, the Grinch. Grinch. He the tone. And it, I mean, honestly, again, it's specifically the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch. That was classic for her. I'm like, man, yes. why are you biased to the Jim Carrey version? The original Big, version is great. It, it, He's better than that. I mean, stop, stop shortchanging yourself. He's better than that. He better than the OG? He's better than the OG. He, Yo, just be yeah. honest. Listen, so did, the, did Jim Carrey... You gonna say better, though? Did Jim just Carrey movie well. have Tony the Tiger singing the Grinch theme song? I like Fruity Pebbles. Forget Tony the Tiger. We're not worried about that. So I think like about John Cena, too. The disrespect. <laughs> That you just showed Tony the Tiger. I wish I knew Tony's real, the dude real name right now. Clear, the disrespect clear. you just showed Tony. That was cold. Oh, yeah. That was cold. Think about it. Clear, when I say clearly. the Grinch, when I say the Grinch, the first one to come to mind is not, well, maybe Damone because Are you he serious? Made it. Are you serious? When you say the Grinch, I automatically think about the animated version from like the back in the day. You lying, Broby, go, Broby, Broby is gonna slap you. Man. Watch your mouth. Stop putting that voodoo on my. Stop putting that voodoo on Broby. Broby, you stay put. Stay. Clear, clearly, we should move on because Ace is either drunk or high or both. So. Hey, real talk though, I'm just glad he didn't say Gizmo from Gremlins. I, uh, I thought he was. I thought that's where he was going. I thought that he was saying I that. Thought right. So too. That's <laughs> number two. Green. How many green characters two. show up during Christmas, man? Jeez. The Grinch, Gizmo, and Yoda? Jeez. <clears throat> That's your top three? Wrong well, yeah. years. In that order. In that order. <laughs> All right, so... Um, yeah, that makes it better it is. It's my Wrong turn now. Can, can, I, yeah. can I say my favorite character from Christmas? You can. Go ahead. Man, it's cold-blooded. It's uh, Oogie Boogie. 
<laughs> listen, listen. He fucked up saying this time. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> but y'all don't know how much I like that character, man. He be coming through because I'm the boogie, boogie man. Whoa. Life and times of Oogie Boogie. Now, <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I have known this man for years, and this is the first time I'm hearing about any of this crap. <laughs> listen, listen. Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie needs his own movie, his own prequel. I will watch the shit out of that. Y'all have no idea. I will watch. And I will tell you, even if the movie is terrible, I will tell you that it is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Oh, y'all see the joy in his eyes saying that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oogie Boogie is, is my guy. That is definitely Christmas glee. Listen, my favorite Disney characters is like Oogie Boogie and uh, Dr. Facilier, all right? They're my top two Ooh. right there. If you can sing a jazz tune, be cool. Be cool. If it's good. If it's terrible, though. Oh, yeah. And Scar. Shout out to Scar. You like the brother killer. All right, cool. Understood. He succeeded, okay? <laughs> he went I, understand that, I understand that his real name translates to shit, for real. However. I know. I know. They really <laughs> did him dirty on that one, boy. They did him dirty. <laughs> Like that is not like hyperbole. That is not a joke. That is not slander. His name Real literally translates to shit. Real life. It was a Taka. Taka, yeah. I mean, the PG version says trash, but you know. I mean, the TV also edits stuff out, so there's that. Um, the book says trash too. Speaking I mean, of, yes, you know, the books. As far as I'm concerned, I think the books are canon. So yeah, his name is actually Trash. Well, or, who wants to be called shit. Trash? I who mean, that's why he trash? was pissed. That's why Scar's pissed. I would be hey, pissed if I was Scar. Wake mm. up, Trash! Time to go to school. <laughs> hey, who's the Trash in basketball? Yeah, <laughs> once you and see, I, I, have you seen Trash? Listen, I was hating. I, I didn't like Scar as a kid, but then after I, I read about the books, and then I read the. You know that his name and what it meant. I was like, he was absolutely warranted. They really bullied that man into becoming this crazy character that he became. Mufasa, Mufasa didn't have much to do with it though. Mufasa just played a position. Mufasa played a position, but he was part of the family that hated him. And who was left in that family? Mufasa. He had to go. He was the only piece. He was, he was chilling. Did this you just what? make it okay for Scar to? I didn't make it okay for Scar to kill him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I understand. Y'all now y'all know I like villains. I just told y'all Frollo had one of the hottest tracks in Disney history with Hellfire. Okay. <laughs> the worst. He was So you over here justifying dudes getting horny and now you justify brother killers. All right, cool. I get it now. Let's see what you want. <laughs> also, Dr. Facilier. I look, I Look, I'm I got okay with that. You okay with that one? You cool with that? That I'm one's okay fine. One. The dude that that's summoning uh, spirits to take other people and then get taken at the end. You cool with hey, that? Hey, man, he had a fight. He, had he a definitely fight. failed, though. But his song was good, though. Fight. But his song was really good. I'm just saying. Yeah, that song was really good. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, Frollo got horny. It was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to kill everybody. And then Scar was like, you know what? I'm going to kill my brother and I'm going to deprive everybody of food and water. And I'm going to try and get my brother's wife. Listen. Like, that's the one. Listen. Hot mess. On top of that, let's just talk about how much of a player Scar was, though. He had a whole ass family out there just chilling. And they were just waiting on him to come home. Did nah, he even bro, go home? Did he even go he home when he became king? So you telling me he had a whole family, wife and kids, wives and kids, and nobody never heard of them before? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. there's a whole little brother that we didn't see in Lion King 2 as well that we didn't find out until uh, the Lion Guard came out. So, I mean, that's that's true, too. Wonder what happened I, I mean, him. and then he had to be around because Kiara is around and she's way not way older than him. But she's like a step or two above him in age wise. And then he just shows up. And so yeah, yeah. It's a lot of stuff we didn't know. It's a lot of stuff we didn't know. But he still killed his brother though. He did. He killed and he was living his, his best lie in life. He was getting he was hiding all that pussy. That's crazy. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, you, how you Sarabi was a queen. You, you you just can't you can't pass that up. You need a queen to buy a, a good queen. I mean, have you no seen his wife? Gonna, have you seen no his actual wife? Gonna... Have you seen Scar? Okay, I don't know if that was his yeah, wife. Yeah. Did you see her? That's your brother. She she wasn't good enough to be queen. I'm I'm sorry. I'm saying it. I but saw her. She she wasn't good enough to be queen. queen. You make the rules. Who you the prize? Fix your crown, king. I mean, he. <laughs> have you seen Scar? There's nothing about him that looks like the prize. Clearly, but he wanted to be the prize, and at one point, but, after he killed his brother, which you somehow like, he was top dog, metaphorically stop, speaking. Stop. Everybody, look, I cried in the theater when Mufasa died, okay? I'm just <laughs> saying. When you have I was your six. Turn? I was six. Do not judge when me. When did you have your heel turn? Hmm? When did you have your heel turn? Uh, <laughs> right after I found out that they was calling that man trash, I was like, "Yo, that's that's messed up." I I can understand. <laughs> you know, I can understand. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you was trash, if you was called trash, you'll go crazy too. I wouldn't kill my brother. Over. I wouldn't kill my brother either. Uh, I love you, uh, bro. Both of you, uh, biological <laughs> bros. Don't, I will never. I will never hurt you. Or do anything. I might slap you around a little bit if somebody put some money on the line, though. Just so we're just so we're clear. Here. So 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 tell BK's brothers. This is this is JVC. <laughs> he's a, he's established that there's a baseline for violence. <laughs> That's why I can't move. I assure you. Right. But I will compensate you if it comes down to like two mil. I mean, five percent ain't we'll bad. You. My brothers. Okay. Five, ten percent ain't bad out of like two mil. Why he's gonna do it for two hundred dollars. Just watch it. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. He'll do Be it for two bucks. Hold on. Wait a minute. One of my brothers, I would do I would I slap you for two hundred dollars, but Y'all got to figure out which brother that is. I'm trying to listen. I'm telling y'all now, if you're watching this, his teeth and ambitions are bared. <laughs> hey, listen, we got to move on, damn it. All right, last question. <laughs> Favorite hip-hop and or R&B Christmas song? JB. All right. There's only one answer to this. There's only one. What's that? Let it snow by boys to men. Okay. I put that song in the line. That's a good one. February, good one. April, my birthday, Jesus' birthday, Thanksgiving. Let it snow gets played all year round. It is a good song. There was a banger though. Ace. Mm. After some long deliberate thoughts. Mm -hmm. Curtis Blow, Christmas rapper. There's also another good one. Look, hey, y'all look at uh dear bro Demo over there. He like he about to shut it down. He's like, I'm about to kill all y'all. Oh, hey, what, what's y'all. the song, Demo? <laughs> uh, I mean, I was going to go Run DMC, Christmas in Holland. Then I was going to go, you know, Old School Temptations, Silent mm-hmm. Night. But I decided to let everybody know my real favorite Christmas song is It's Cold Outside. Uh-oh. I've seen this debate oh, online several times. It's my favorite song, so... I have no, I have no qualms with that song whatsoever. It was a little, mm-hmm. it was a little borderline. It's not, but it's not, given it's the, given not. the time, I'm saying if it came it's, out now, it would be. But since <laughs> the time period it came out, it wasn't that bad. People banter between two people. That that's all it is. I actually, I actually agree with that. But let's just be real though. If they dropped that in 2020 though, Question. it ain't hitting. It ain't hitting the airways. DJ said, what did you say? It was quite what? I said, it'll, leave, it'll leave some questions if it drop now. Man. Listen. What? <laughs> drop now. I dare you. Drop that song now. It's right now. You know how we are. You know how we are. You just got you just got Facebook blocked from posting videos for something you, you said go, seven years ago. People <laughs> people people. T- People will take something beautiful and try to make it ugly, and that's what they did to that song. That's all. Like, you know, look, that I'm man not gonna was... let y'all. I'm not, not gonna let y'all meet. I'm not gonna let y'all meet to that song. It's not happening. Look, that <laughs> man was just genuinely worried about her going home. 
He just wanted her to stay <laughs> to be safe. It was snowing, it was cold. She probably wasn't driving. You know, the buses ain't running right. You know, you gotta be safe by here in the winter storm. Really approaching, you are really approaching Roman Reigns level of heel them right now. You are, you are. <laughs> Listen, somebody got to be the heel, all right? Somebody got to play the part, okay? That's old, man. That's how we got him. I mean, I'm just saying that people talk about he, he slips up in their drink, like, he just made the drink stronger. Like, come on, like, stop it. Stop it, people. <laughs> if I'm, listen, if I'm Roman Reigns today, Demo is definitely Paul Heyman right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's definitely Paul Heyman over there. Listen, Throughout the history of histories of podcasts before, I've always been comfortable being the villain, so I'm good. See, I'm learning from I'll you. Accept, I'll accept it. I'll wear it. See, see <laughs> nobody was questioning you. Nobody was questioning. Best, we know you. It's the BK. Best villains, I'm worried about the best. Hey, listen, BK. The best villains feel like they're doing the right thing. Yeah, 20, yeah. I, 20, I feel 20, like 20, that. You. <laughs> 20, 20, listen. Man. 2020 was really rough for everybody, all right? I ain't the only one. All right. That's a fact. 2020 was crazy. 2020 was crazy. I mean, we at the end of it, but before we even get into that part of the conversation, um, <clears throat> I want to say my favorite Christmas uh, song, I'm going with the hip hop tip. And I'm going to go with David Banner's The Christmas Song. Have oh, you guys wow. ever heard that? A while ago, I mean, too long ago. ago. I'm sorry, but you know, I felt like he picked up the realness of Christmas in the hood. You know, we were broke, trying to get Christmas presents and stuff. So, I felt like that was real. I felt that song from the bottom of my nut sack. I felt that bottom of the nut sack. Yeah, it's just something. Something. Boy, you could have kept that. It's 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 from my it's from my neck of the woods. Don't worry. Right, right. um, Point is from his nuts and his neck of the woods. Yeah. Point (laughs) is, point is, it's a great, it's a great song. Scar absolutely was justified in his anger. He needed therapy. He was justified in his anger. Frollo was a pervert, but he had one really good song in that movie. Okay. And nobody was better than Oogie Boogie. And hold on, before before you move on, the producer of the Curtis Blow uh, Christmas rapping, Jason Voorhees. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Cameron. I thought you were about to say Cameron wrote it. <laughs> I swear, I thought Cameron wrote it. I, I 100% nah, honestly didn't on, see that coming. Nah, Cameron's too busy on Christmas Day with his horse and carriage delivered on <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen. I see why. I see why you want to delegate uh, being the host because I, I would hate to have to deal with this. Like, this is- yeah, <laughs> man, it, it can be hell sometimes. Laughing, but he next. He's gonna be criticized, but he next. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I run a tight. I run a tight ship. I run a tight ship. So he was like, "Hey, you, you can shut up, mute." next <laughs> I can't do that to you guys this is a part of the fun let's just be real at this point if you are listening to the crossover crew and you've been hanging with us since the beginning you pretty much know what to expect you know we can get off subject a whole lot we start talking about the most randomness of things we was talking about Christmas and somehow we got on uh, Scar who has zero to do with Christmas at all uh, Jason has become our running uh, theme here. Jason is great, by the way. <laughs> There's no better monster than Jason. We established you that in the last right crossover right. episode, and it's still true today. I feel like he, we add something to, to it this every day. episode. So let, let's, add, let's day. add Jason, Jason the philanthropist. Like he's, <laughs> he's something else. The Olympic athlete, the philanthropist. Like he, he, he does also so much. He's the musical, <laughs> mu- oh musical producer. The producer. Super producer. The Definitely, definitely the best babysitter ever. Of all Easily. time. Y'all didn't even know he was in the Babysitter Club movie. movie. Y'all just didn't see him. He was there. Jason is everywhere. A- <laughs> I just didn't see it. He was there. He was a summer camp slash daytime babysitter. Right? <laughs> right? Olympic level athlete, decathlon. I mean, he saw for a hunger once. <laughs> I'm telling he's y'all, man. He's an astronaut and a fireman. Yep. Easily. He's Easily. 
Give him his respect. I'm pretty sure at this point he's the cousin of Zordon too, but you know, <laughs> just whatever, just whatever. Jason is whatever we need Jason to be today. To tell the people if they ever want to laugh, you should edit like the first hour we talk before we actually go live into the show. Like, oh, you should edit yeah, that man. The best, like, <laughs> those those just, pre just moments, the, the, the cool stuff, not the you know. Just the, the good stuff. I don't think we should talk about. I don't think that should be on. <laughs> that right there. I said, uh-uh. I said the, that's why I said the edit. The edit. We all like gonna edit, be canceled. <laughs> Yo, no, stop, stop. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning of these shows, I won't be saying nothing. It be all them. It just be it's these, all J. It be it's these all cats. JB's fault. Hey, hey, comfortable under that bus with me. <laughs> JB versus accountability. Is right, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I'm just a tag along. I'm a hostage at this point. I just be here. I'm just here. I'm like, yo, yeah, I want to do an episode together. Then they just come in here just saying stuff. That's basically what happens every time. Y'all gotta understand, 2020 been hard on me. <laughs> oh Lord, here we go. You know what? You said this the last episode, by the way. And it's true. Then it was still 2020, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not disputing. I'm not disputing the 2020 craziness. It's been mad. You've had a rough 2020 for sure. I mean, my 2020, you know, we're going to talk about uh, since we're not going to see anybody until after January. Let's just mm-hmm. talk about um, how we plan on spending 2021. JB, what is your plans for 2021? What are you looking forward to for next year? Oh man, I'm looking forward to not being depressed no more. Like that's that's like the big thing. And you like it's, be... it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. I feel yeah. like Pete Davidson right now, like the Negro Pete Davidson right now, because oh, like, like I'm, I'm making jokes, but it's dark over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, man, um, I totally, I get it, man. Definitely, I understand. But nah, I mean, I mean, on, on a personal tip, 2020 was like really rough, but like on a on a personal and um. On a business tip, everything is um kind of moving in the in the right direction. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of manifesting things in a positive direction, and um, I want to keep that momentum going, and I want to keep growing the show and keep growing the podcast and get to a point where I can do things like you on a weekly week basis. Where I can do that because editing the audio is a bitch, and I don't want to do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Look, when I discovered right. when I discovered video, um, it was like, yeah, I'm never going back to just pure audio again. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, um, I just want to keep turning upwards and keep doing and do it in um in a positive mental space. Amen to that, man. Hey, you know, I, I feel like we need to make sure we say that uh as your homies and friends and all that good stuff we'll always be here when you need us you know that show to the crowd yeah. on vo- uh just ear to listen whatever man house Absolutely. to visit one day when COVID not here you know yeah, is always this open is first, this is the first year i haven't seen you in like we had a streak going and the streak <laughs> is over now yeah we we broke that bitch that streak is gone <laughs> right now it's over bro <laughs> we'll get it back though we'll get that thing going back I think all of us will eventually, man. I went to Ohio one year and I was planning on seeing Demo, but uh, things took a turn for uh, the absolute yeah, worst bad. when I was there. So, yeah. Anyway, all we're right, not talking about that. All right, big bro Demo, what are you looking forward to in 2021? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm just going to, you know, of course, expand my horizons. I'm looking to add a couple of new things to the repertoire and uh, do a couple of things that make me uncomfortable for growth. Yeah. So, but definitely getting back into uh, in the, in the podcast and things and tightening up my circle and just uh, continue trying to be a better person. That's really it is, you know, uh, just just continue like to, it, it's been a, it's been a, um, it's been real trying 2020, but on a personal level, it hasn't really been the worst year ever. It's been, you know, and other other venues financially mm-hmm. stuff like that it's been a pretty good year for me so i'm not complaining 
And plus, mm-hmm. I don't like people, so I can go places and there's no people. I like that. Like that's <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. Like I like it. Hey, real talk. <laughs> I mean, I can't say I disagree with y'all on that one at all. We're being hundred percent. We're being hundred percent honest. I don't mind not seeing people a lot. Like, mm-hmm. take yourself out on a date, man. That's good. <laughs> It'd be the no. best thing ever. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to one of these moments. I'm trying to goddamn uh, rent a movie theater and just bring people in. I'm like, can I bring my PlayStation? Can I just do what I want in the theater at this point? <laughs> Put it on the IMAX. <laughs> PlayStation to the IMAX. Let's go. I mean, I, I rolled by the movie theater today and no one was there. I was like, this was the moment. I should have went. <laughs> like, all the popcorn and drinks, no lines. I can go right to the stand and go right back to the movie and not miss a bunch of stuff. Nope. This is the moment for me. All right. Man. Ace, 2021, what you looking forward to? Honestly, just to uh, keep grinding, you know, I gave you guys some news before the show. Uh, you know, we can't say it just yet, but it's looking up as far as football is going, man. Yeah. Um, we we got to keep got to keep trending up that way. And uh, the tell show. Everybody, it, just tell everybody you all you all probation. Just go ahead and tell us. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the bracelet comes can, off on. He could be a hundred percent. He could be a hundred feet near his school zone now. Everybody like. That's hey, back <laughs> I'm Trying not to cough because I don't want nobody to say that joke we had before the show started. I'm trying oh. to hold it. Oh. Mm-hmm. All, all right, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> I don't think I don't think you can say that now. I think that's insensitive now. Just go ahead, out. They'll be all right. <laughs> you know, real. But um, yeah, man, I'm just honestly just looking forward to you know a lot of those things just progressing. Um, and honestly, like like the moment said, 2020 hasn't been that bad. Not for for me, person financially, um, learning, growing. My fiance, she learning, growing, things like that. So we just. We're just gonna keep pushing forward. Yeah, keep keep pushing forward for real, for real. It's gonna be uh, just keep learning, kind of keep growing, keep getting bigger and better. Absolutely, man. I be seeing y'all posting food uh, pics. Your fiance, yeah, I guess you now. I'm too I damn so close tired. not to get a not to get a bite at some point one of these days. Man, come on I'm through, so James. Tired. I don't told you, man. Six hours. Just just come on. Just come on. I'm not, driving, I'm not driving my new car six hours, bro. <laughs> Walk. What? I don't care. You can run. Walk. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> just, just. I know I ain't got to. I know I ain't got to drive six hours. No, nah, your it uh, might be the same. That, your, 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 it's probably six, seven, something like that. No, because I got like, what, two to get to JB or two or three, something like that. It's like two, almost three. Unless you want to road trip it. I'll ride to you when we ride down there. Yeah, it might be what we have to do. Well, the yeah. day after quarantine, you know, the day after quarantine is over, we have to start planning. Absolutely, yeah, for I mean, somebody, somebody had already um, said something yeah. like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna let y'all know that plan when we get it together a little bit better. But I definitely want to do some sort of uh, homies trip where we can go yeah. and, and enjoy. Uh, each other's company and go out and do something you know we'll, we'll talk about it we'll talk about it I'm, I'm dead serious too we, we can stomp Demo I'm, I'm, I'm down with why that wanna, why y'all wanna beat Demo's ass I hope y'all I hope y'all faster I hope you faster than my aluminum bat <laughs> <laughs> alright so for 2021 as far as BK goes um 2020 was decent i had some moments um some doubts at some points but with you guys uh being part of the battery pack y'all kind of kept me going on a pretty good trajectory you guys nova uh tia and a few other people it's a lot of you guys and girls that really was like keep pushing keep going you got this and for 2021 we're gonna go further i'm gonna Mm-hmm. Bro, uh-huh. for twenty bro, for twenty twenty one. Yo, yo, bro. Make sure you got the 
in 2021, we're going to go further. We're going to do bigger, better things. We're going to keep hyping each other. We're going to keep pushing each other. I'm going to keep pushing you guys to get these shows out with me because I feel like we got a really great thing going. We can continue that great thing and we will continue that great thing. And then when we all get rich and famous, we all get rich and famous together. That's the plan. So that's the plan. That's what we, that's uh, why we all came together for in the first place. Damn right. That and be really positive and supportive and keep that yeah. shit going. Like for yes, sure. I, I definitely nah, can't wait. I, I definitely can't wait to stun on those broke Negroes. <laughs> just, just, just look down upon them. Yeah. You sicken, you sicken me today, work, sir. Work, work harder. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to be like my hero. I'm just trying to be like my hero, Future. Oh my! <laughs> is, is, is Future the, the best kid. role model? The toxic oh, well, kid. Uh, <laughs> put, I'm put the, the, put the ball down. You, you you will refer to him as the Prophet Future of Nazareth. Okay. <laughs> Excuse, me. Excuse me. The Prophet Future Hendrick. Yes, of Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys listen this this episode has been freaking hilarious i've had mad fun today uh it has been a i've learned some things today about you guys that i don't know if i wanted to learn but i did and i enjoyed the year with you cats because also happy anniversary to the crossover crew because oh, hey, it is our anniversary oh. So the what show, happened? we've been convening for a whole year now. So, you know, that's crazy. Really, we did that thing. We did. We, it has been a year. Wow. That's, that's exactly. Wild. Yeah. We just celebrated the BK Space show as a whole, like, a, what, a month ago? And over a month ago now. And here we are with the crossover cruise year. And I didn't even realize it until I think Damone posted the old uh, one of the episode things I did when we were first starting back when I didn't know how to advertise uh, write a poster or anything so <laughs> just looking back at that and looking at us now I'm like man what a difference a year makes amazing we've done some really good we've made some strides here uh, I mean Demo himself is pretty much a radio legend at this point but the rest of us we're just now getting into the game so you know it's been amazing my mind is blown for sure and i never want to stop doing this now especially with you guys i, I have way too much fun i know i threatened to shut this down like p diddy uh <laughs> and to making a band oh video <laughs> you make my day dylan 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 and dylan that's it all right we got to end this thing merry christmas but before I say my goodbyes for the year, does anybody else have anything to say? JB? You're going to run down the line. All right, just going to start with me. All right, cool. All right. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You all take care of yourselves and each other. Check me out on YouTube at JB versus the world all spelled out in one. You can catch me there, JB versus the world dot com and all my socials. I'm not going to go there because I can see the look at BK's eyes right now. <laughs> but... <laughs> But check me out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you need to put them out, man, go ahead. You sure? I'm sure. Go ahead. It's the, it's the last. It's the end of the year. I'm being. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I'm being not. Nice. <laughs> go ahead. Do your thing, man. You just a gift that keeps on giving. You know that. Hey, man. Hey, man. If nobody else tells you here, I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys too. <laughs> All the time, man. As long as you're not hanging from a cliff. As long as you're not hanging from a cliff, you can trust it. <laughs> Boy, I hope you take a long walk off a short pier. <laughs> I'm not scar, you guys. Jeez. G continue, because look, my mom be like, my intros be long. So it's not true that one episode it was, though. So don't don't make her right. Just finish. <laughs> Just finish your, intro, right. your exits. Your outro. You can catch me on. You can catch me on Facebook and Instagram at JB versus the world. Also, YouTube, JB versus the world. Twitter at JBV the world. And don't forget, you can catch my home hub at JB versus the world.com. Big bro. 
Demo. Uh, happy holidays. Happy Merry Christmas. Uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Oh, um, I just, just, uh, just, just, I just, actually just came to me talking to you guys. I just want to tell everybody it, it, you know, you have to do something to make this year positive. Use this year as a building block and not a stumbling block. Like, if you, I think if you apply that and just build Amen. off of it to become better, I think, you know, it, it, it'll put you in a better place. Like I said, I'm, I'm on Facebook thinking about opening up my social media, my other social media back up, Twitter, Instagram. But I'm on Facebook, Jamal Love. Look for my live streams. Come, I'm, I'm about to start having live stream conversations. So I think I'm going to do something with Nova. I'm going to do something with each of you guys. I think me and DJ might argue about some sports. And, oh, it's uh, happening. Looking forward to that one. <laughs> oh, it is happening. And that's it, dude. I want everybody to continue to be blessed, continue to prosper. And, uh, you know, I love everybody. I just don't like people. Deacon, Deacon Ace McFly, go ahead and, and hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and hit him with the year end special. No, yeah, man, just the, real quick, man, just be safe, man. Be kind. Be safe and be kind, man. You see people or be kind to somebody or be kind to, you know, somebody in your house, whatever, man. Y'all just be safe. Mask up. Keep your hands to yourself, JB. Um, <laughs> just, just, <laughs> man, just keep living, y'all, man. Y'all catch me. You'll catch me on uh, Facebook, DJ Sailor, or Ace McFly on uh, Twitter at McFly underscore the. And um, I'm, I'm trying to. I might do something on Instagram. I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide right now. But that's it, man. Y'all be safe, be kind. Five show coming at the end of Neverwhere. Three episode three. He said, put some respect on his episodes. It's more than two. It's three. It's my bad. Still releasing at the end of you, nowhere. You and your you you and your you and your fiance need to do some food podcast. Man, we, so we're working on that, man. So we uh you, you know, we did live like uh where we reviewed some food. Uh -huh. we live on Facebook where we'll probably do maybe a YouTube or something together. Tell her, but she be cussing. So I gotta talk to her, man. We got two. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a food audience that man. like an aggressive host. You never hey, know. Cool. Man. That could work. Yeah. I mean, y'all can be like cooking with Babish, but you know, <laughs> that couple. You just Ooh. never know. Uh, Wait a minute, that came out way different. I, I, way I think I knew what he, what, he, what, he, what, he, what he I knew what he meant to say. <laughs> that came out way say. different. Than what, did, what did that say? Bad bitch. Bad sounded like uh Oh, cooking with bad bitch. <laughs> yeah. That what it sounds like. She might she gonna hit you, not me. I'm like, he is cutting Bam. He is cutting up Listen. this week. That is not <laughs> Miss, I Miss, Miss, Mrs. I would tune all the way in if I hear Denise like Man, this shit good as a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm in there. I'm I'm in there. <laughs> in fact, that's what I, I want out the show. That is what I want out of the show. Me personally, I want to see. This is some great book. That, man. No, don't even. That. Yeah, don't. Just don't uh, even. I'm telling you, I might pull a Patreon her. real easy with that. Just exactly. let her go ahead and be the pirate that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Don't even censor it. Just, just go away. Exactly. Just, just be like, man, I give this sandwich four out of five motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I, I gotta listen. Y'all can't be. I'm pretty much past my PG rating at this point, okay? <laughs> You're way past PG. I'm sure I'm at PG 13 now. But uh, that's crazy. I'm just messing my own show. <laughs> let me uh, let me go ahead and shut this down before we go another thirty minutes. Lord, I can't take another thirty minutes of you guys. All right. So, like I said earlier, 2021 is gonna be great. It's gonna be dope. We got a new co-host, Miss Nova Kane. That is what she is ooh, going ooh, about on the ooh, show. Ooh, so ooh. tune in to the BK Space Nova. Show with BK Space and Nova Kane. It's on the logo now, so it's official. Uh. Make sure you tune in to all of JB's 172 socials. <laughs> all his shows, JB I'm versus the world, JB versus uh, the podcast, uh, Jay Z. Today, Jay Z. You got a new episode today? I didn't. Yeah. Even, uh, okay, and yeah, his new episode today. today, like, is dropping today, today? on Christmas. Today, okay. Yeah, on Christmas. Check it out now. 
yeah go check out that episode right now be on the lookout for dating over 40 from big bro demo and the hump because it's returning on wednesdays right i don't know what wednesday but it's coming and we're looking forward to that and make sure you guys go check out the ace mcfly show because nobody talks sports better than the homie ace and let's go ahead and shut it down now (laughs) 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 jb was like first of all my sports talk is better this ain't about you jb this ain't about you right now i didn't say it was me i seen you i seen the face that looked like a this is the hate. Oh, there's a there's yeah, a poster right now. We uh, the moon started some shit. Mm-mm. It's already up. It's already see, up. See, so see, I, we I, go. I started out doing sports talk. I started out doing sports talk. Hey, hey, listen. We about to get into a whole nother tangent. I'm trying to end the show here, fellas. Don't make me use the mute buttons. I love Zoom right now. I will use these mute buttons. I've been threatening this for like three episodes. I ain't done it yet. All right. So to find my show and it's all the bk spade show and you can go to twitter instagram and facebook the bk spade show and find us but i would rather you go to www.thebkspadeshow.com where you get the videos the audios blogs and a whole bunch of other stuff eventually we're gonna have some um some new host bios up that we're working on the site is still very much under construction but it's getting there it's evolving it's going to be good pretty soon and also this is brought to you by sleeping genius clothing i think they'll be dropping new clothing on in february uh be the first drop for the t-shirts so be on the lookout for that if you've watched me in previous episodes you've seen the shirts that will be dropping the logo uh tees and we're gonna have they're gonna have more stuff there but right now it's just the logo tees first get that out the way but anyway thank you for tuning in this has been great merry christmas uh happy new year and all that good stuff and y'all get up out my doggone office (coughs) oh yeah and uh we'll see you later broby and pikachu do not move and we are out